One of the major things we're doing to illustrate the, the, the theme of change really within the society and within the profession, but an example of it is this, the fact that we are communicating our annual report now in this electronic medium, uh, through not through a hard copy annual report, which we've done for many, many years. And that is actually in response to something the members suggested to us. They thought it would be more modern, it would actually be cheaper and better to do it in this way. We listened and we're doing it this way. We know that the Legal Services Regulation Bill is on the way. It has just commenced its committee stage in July. And that is introducing changes to the Law Society. Many of them welcome changes to the Law Society and others which we did not so much welcome but we have sought to engage with uh, constructively with Minister Shatter and we're delighted to say, particularly where matters such as the preservation of the independence of the profession from proper government control, where that uh, was a concern of ours, we made uh, representations and the Minister, like the Law Society, the Minister has listened because uh, representations made by the Law Society and others have formed the basis for changes, major changes in the bill as it's come to committee stage. Uh, but the role of the society continues to change. Perhaps the best example has been in the uh, report on the future of the Law Society. That was based on a survey um, by Millward Brown, not by the Law Society, but by professional uh, market research people. The most comprehensive survey of opinion within the solicitor's profession in Ireland ever undertaken. Um, we had a huge response rate to it and the, it has formed the basis for a major report uh, on the future of the Law Society and the changes, the 31 specific changes which are in the report, which has gone out to members now, are all based on what the members have asked for. And that is, uh, in some respects, with less emphasis on the Society's regulatory role and less of a regulatory burden to be carried, um, the Society is more free to more proactively and assertively um, uh, promote the interests of members and that is what we are delighted to be free to do. Among the changes in this report were the recommendation that we should bring in additional expertise and additional resources to help the society not to do things differently as we've done them in the past but simply to do more and more effectively uh, and therefore there'll be a new director of uh, representation and member services and that person has already been recruited. We're also bringing in professionals with a background in lobbying. Nothing's going to transform overnight, but the efforts are being made uh, with the professional expertise and the extra resources which we have sought and which we are now getting, but which we are getting and it is core to the report. These resources are being put in place without any increase in the practice certificate fee. Uh, it is being done from within resources and reallocation of resources within the society. But in overall terms, we think that the justice system in Ireland has not been getting resources with an inevitable cutbacks from the state. There has been a cutback in resources, major cutback in resources for the justice system. There's been a lot of publicity and public debate about the cutbacks in the health system. We now want to focus on the justice system. That is also essential to the health of the nation and it cannot go beyond certain levels of cutbacks. For example, in criminal or civil legal aid, there are limits below which um, we are diminishing ourselves as a society, as a society, as a society generally. We cannot have that and we must oppose it. It may be that there is change. Nobody knows for certain, but there are some signs now. The OECD report recently indicated that there are signs now that the economy may be changing and changing for the better. But in terms of change, the profession has had a very, very, very tough time uh, adjusting to the to the financial catastrophe that's overtaken Ireland in the last five years. Um, some parts of the profession have been harder hit than others, um, and sole practitioners have been the hardest hit of all, particularly those in 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 in, in rural areas. Um, but with any prospect of change in the economy generally, that has to be good good news all round. The profession is adapting to change now. A huge tsunami of change has hit the profession, but the profession is adapting to it and will, will move with that change um, and will move forward. And just as the profession is uh, in economic terms adapting, there are changes in technology. We've no doubt just as the Law Society is adapting to change, the profession is adapting to change. And with that regard, the future will always be bright for the legal profession. And in the society, our doors are open, you don't always have to come to the door. 
My email address is k.murphy at lawsociety.ie. Any ideas, any thoughts, and in particular, any offers to participate and contribute to the work of the society and the work of the profession would be most welcome. I want to hear from you.